Brian Little. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Come up to this funny, uh, funny tour bus. This comedian guy. I don't know his name, but I think his name is Danny Duncan, 69. And on the back of his tour bus, it says, I eat ass. That is pretty funny. I like that. I guess his tour is Virginity Rocks. Ugh. We're about to pull forward, get something to eat inside this Loves, and uh, start our weekend. Start our week. Kind of, we already started, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, bro. I'm tired, though. I am tired. About to go inside, get our coffee up, coffee game up. Right now they got pumpkin spice, so, you know, pretty excited about that, not gonna lie. Yeah, just gotta tighten it up, you know? Tighten her up, eh? All right, good morning, good morning. We got about, it's like an eight hour drive. Eight hour, six hour drive. No, it's, like, it's more like a seven hour drive. I'm right here in Corning, California, and we're trying to get to Roseburg, Oregon. It's a pretty good spot to crash out for the night. A lot of parking, no riff raff. It's really important to try to find a truck stop that doesn't have like squirrely people around. You know what I'm saying? We got two stops, two stops in Seattle. We gotta deliver these to Washington off of Airport Drive. And then the other one is in Seattle, but it's more like in the city, like in the urban area. And it's uh, a little squirrely because the trees are very low in that area. And last time I had to drive, last time I had to drive on the other side of the road and people were freaking out. It's like they never seen a truck before. Let's see how this, how this, how it goes this time. Yeah, but now we're gonna shine down the tree. Just give a little wipe down before we get hit the road again. She got dirty going through the five, going through all those corn, all those corn and avocado fields and stuff like that. Don't hate on my hat, Chris. I know I got this Freightliner hat, but I actually look pretty good in this this one. Too bad it doesn't say Peterbilt. I do got my Peterbilt. This doesn't look good on my head. I don't know why. My head's not really meant for hats. There's only so many hats that actually look good on me. Hit the like button if you feel me on this hat. Like if you ain't mad at that hat. It ain't easy keeping it fresh, man. But we gotta do it. Keep it clean and mean, player. Not bad, not bad. Da 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 Bro, 
bro. They got a whole camp right here on the under the on the freeway on ramp. Jeez. Nice. I wonder how much the property taxes on that are, dude. You know what I'm saying? Birdman. What happened to that boy? What's up, bro? How's it going? You just chilling over here, huh? You having a good day? Alright, man. Stay up. There is the Century Link Field, home of the Seattle Seahawks. What a lovely city. Honestly. Honestly. Look at this traffic, man. Are you kidding me? This is bloody terrible. I might as well be off duty for this, man. Jeez, for the love of Christmas, why don't you, man? finished our 10 hour restart over here in Roseburg, Oregon. This love is pretty awesome. I like it. It's never really too packed and they always have their coffee on point. Now we're heading back down to Port Wainimi. We really don't have anything in uh, Benicia so pretty much deadheading all the way down to Oxnard, Ventura County. 
grab a load and uh, we're heading back to Vegas. you know <laughs> all right my friends I just woke up from my nap a little while ago and all right a little fart can just passed by uh, so yeah I was parked over there at the pilot and here in Salinas and these guys they came to work on my truck as I was parked uh, while while I was parked in the pilot and the pilot employees uh, kicked these poor guys out because they didn't have the proper insurance. Um, just, yeah, I guess the proper liability insurance and stuff like that to work on the property. Um, so they kicked them, they kicked them off and I'm not trying to wait for another, another mechanic to come out. So luckily I'm still able to move the truck because it's really just that, it's just the clutch pedal that goes all the way, you know, goes all the way down. And it's an easy fix from what the guy was telling me. He might've been done already if the they weren't, if the pilot employees weren't arguing with them or whatever. Honestly, the pilot employees never would even came out. If, I, I think it was this other competing uh, company that ratted on them. Anyways, I moved off the property. They are able to get the job done and I should be out of here pretty soon. And we'll be in Wainimi. We'll be picking up some encores and driving up to Yuma tomorrow morning. So, all right guys, peace. Peace to the Middle East. This is the spot right here, guys. Gus Jr., come get your breakfast burritos. Dude, is there ever a time where those things just fly off when they're going full clip and then do they ever land in the freeway? You know what I mean? I'd be on some final destination stuff. Yeah, I was uh, always one of that. I guess I should Google it. I'm sure. I'm sure it's happened. Bro. Jeez. Is there anybody down there? Oh man, it'd be like that sometimes. Uh, good thing we didn't have to drop a hot one. We just you know, had to go number one. That's what we're working with today. Heading to Yuma, Arizona, with eight little encores and one cute little spark in the back. Look at that little fella. Oh, he's so adorable. Yeah, we're almost there. We're about 30 minutes away. Here we go with that door again. Yeesh. Get back in this air conditioning. See how hot it is. Woo! Oh, it's 110. Shut up. All right, we're almost there. And then after that, we're gonna be in San Diego. Go to San Diego, load up the, load up a bunch of two iguans, and then uh, drop them off in Vegas. See you. What's up guys? This is it. This is the last drop for the day, for the week. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. You guys like my SA face mask? 
Viva Mexico! We got America on top. Yeah, I like this. This is good. Good little fit, you know what I'm saying? So we're just, we're just dropping it. I came in, I was dropping my first car here, and the lot porter was like, how many you got? I told him nine. He said, four. I guess he wasn't expecting me or something. Some of these guys, they get really stressed out when you bring a full load for them. Ooh, we need to get that. Oh. Ooh. We need to get the grease plate slick, huh? Mm-hmm. Forward. Da, da, da. Ooh, so close so close but so far oh yeah it's gonna be a good friday good friday already home it's already success bro we're already winning either way we're winning you know because we're alive we've got a job we're working hard i work hard for the money you know because there ain't no rest for the wicked Money sure damn don't grow on trees, people. Money sure damn don't grow on trees, you know what I'm saying? Got that. Mm -hmm. Get that strap off. Strap off. Oh, let's go, let's go. Doo -doo -doo. this car to get out of National City ASAP, homie. ASAP Rocky. Duh. Probably already sold. <sighs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. We done. Park engaged. Window engaged. Boom. We're done, guys.